Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve problem number 46 from the chapter of Force Vectors, the second chapter from the book of Engineering Mechanics by R.C. Hubler. So let's solve this problem. In this problem we are being asked to determine the magnitude and direction of the FB force and we are being given that these two forces are making a resultant of 1500 Newton force which is directed along the positive y axis. So it means the resultant is here that has magnitude of 1500 Newton. Now we know that the x component of the resultant force would be equal to the summation of x component of forces making this resultant that means fa and fb since the resultant force is exactly upward along the y direction so there won't be any x component of that hence zero x component of fa would be directed along the positive x axis that will be 700 sine 30 or you can say cos 60 so cos 60 and the x component of fb would be directed negative because the direction will be along the negative x-axis fb cos theta this will be equation number one now the y component of the resultant force will be equal to summation of the forces along the y-axis since the resultant is directed along the positive y-axis so it means the y component is actually equal to 1500 newton the y component of fa force will be 700 sine 60 degree because it will be positively upward so it will be along positive y axis so positive similarly the y component of fp will also be directed along positive y axis and it's positive but we don't know the value of fb as well as theta from equation one we have fp cos theta equal to 350 from equation 2 we have fp sine theta equal to 893.8 now squaring these two and adding them we will be having fp square cos square theta plus fp square sine square theta and uh, squaring these two and adding them together we will be having 921378.44 now taking fp square as common in that sine square theta plus cos square theta would be equal to 1 then fp would be equal to now taking the under root of this value 959.88 newton so this will be the magnitude of this force now putting this value in this equation or in this equation we can determine theta angle so let's say we put into this equation the first one so it will be 959.88 cos theta equal to 350 so then theta would be equal to 68.6 degrees so now we just have calculated the magnitude of fp and also its orientation that's what is required in this problem so this is all from this video thank you for watching this video